Welcome back to Slop Live. Today we've got a huge creator scam that was unveiled by CoffeeZilla. Despite this video having a very critical-esque title, the video is not 20 minutes of slop. It's actually a video unearthing a massive scam involving multiple YouTubers. A lot of big names as victims, such as Mr. Beast, Corpse Husband, Schlatt, who were basically scammed. Now the person exposed in this video is known as Ryan P, who is the manager of The Misfits, a popular YouTube group based in Australia. CoffeeZilla's video goes on to show that one of the merch companies Ryan was involved with was turning over millions of dollars of profit. Creators in the screenshot have blurred, but everything is pretty public and you can kind of figure out who was who. So essentially what would happen is the clothing company gets a specific cut of the profit, but what would happen is they would receive a shitload of money and obviously they have to pay the cut to the creator, but then the <laughs> he would then spend the money on things such as $10,000 dinners and private flights. And and then when they did another clothing drop with a YouTube creator, they would use the profit from that to pay back the person before whose money he'd already spent. Obviously, if you have the time, it's worth watching the full video. One of the creators mentioned was Nia Chu, who is apparently owed $300,000 that she was just never paid. The video then also goes on to show that the rabbit hole goes deeper and quite a few people came forward saying that Ryan was both a manipulator and had sexually assaulted them. Shown in the video is that f at least five separate people all came forward sharing a similar story about Ryan. It is even shown that he sent money from the Misfits business account to a person in exchange for nudes. Obviously, because he was the manager for the Misfits for so long, I've seen a lot of people on Reddit trying to imply that they're complicit or that they knew what was going on. You know, if you have critical thinking, you might be able to figure out that. If this guy's scammed multiple YouTubers and spent lots of money that wasn't his, then they were potentially victims of this as well. As the Misfits haven't said anything publicly, people are trying to say that they're keeping it quiet. But if you're dealing with a previous business partner, I don't think it's as simple as posting a twit longer. There's probably legal ramifications involved or the risk of even being sued. Being from New Zealand and close to the Australian creator sphere, I have met up with the Misfits a few times and have even met Ryan before. And he did spend a lot of money providing dinners and hosting parties for the YouTuber scene, which I always thought was extremely generous and I was always thankful for. Obviously now that everything's come forward, it was probably a little bit easier to do that when you were spending someone else's money. If you just wanted a slop recap, there you are, but the full video is pretty insane and goes more into detail about exactly how Mr. Beast and Schlatt and other YouTubers were completely scared without anyone even knowing until months later. I feel like this might just be the tip of the iceberg and there's probably still more to come in this story. Thanks for slopping by.